Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a October favorites. Um, I've been dying to do a favorites just because there is a whole bunch of things that I have been loving recently in the month of, uh, in the month of October that I've tried out that I really, really love. And you know, I don't think I've done a uh, favorites a monthly favorites or any kind of favorites video in a while so I'm excited to do this one so yeah let's just jump right into it all right so for the first favorites that I have for the month um, just because there's only two items for this category I'm just gonna go ahead and get through them first and that is hair um, hair products I love these two products I use them every single day so you know it's not like I'm using them every so often and I kind of like them no I love these and I need these in my uh, routine for whenever I do my hair just because it really helps protect my hair and it really helps make it um, nice and fluffy and also give it um, just nice hold whenever I need it. So the first product I'm going to be talking about, they're from the same brand but uh, they're two different things. So the first product I'm talking about is the Way um, Hair Care Memory Mist and it is this bottle and it's kind of like, let's see what it says on it. It says, um, this multitasking priming spray adds heat, protectant, shine, and long-lasting memory to any look, curls, and blowouts included. Alright, so as you can see, it does a lot. It helps protect your hair whenever you're blow-drying it, whenever you're using a straightener, anything like that, or curling iron, uh, a curling iron. So it really does a whole bunch of things and also helps whenever you curl your hair. If you want to keep it, keep those nice curls intact, it helps with that and uh, makes my hair feel nice. Um, this is what I use today and uh, most of the time I use it um, as I'm you know um, straightening my hair or curling it I spray it first and then I take the iron because it's, it's just a perfect product. I love using this and it never feels you know um, hard or like crinkly like some hairsprays because this just does so much more than just a regular hairspray. So the next thing from the way is the leave-in conditioner and it is a multitasking leave-in mist that works all day to smooth, soften, and detangle hair. And it's also, you can also use it um, as heat styling for added conditioning, thermal protection, and control, which is awesome. So this is also heat protectant, and this is what I spray in my hair before I blow dry it. I spray it everywhere, and it just really helps my hair feel nice and soft once I'm done blow drying it, and I know that it's also protecting my hair at the same time. So it doesn't feel greasy in my hair. It doesn't um, make it feel flat or anything like that. It really helps blow dry my hair nice, and it makes it nice and soft, and it, uh, of course, adds that heat protection which is really really important that's one of the things that I love about this this is a new bottle actually I just got this during the Sephora sale um, which I also listed this product in the Sephora uh, Sephora sale VIB top picks on my blog um, I'll link that down below if you want to see because there were some pretty great uh, picks from there even if you, the sales not going on um, because I use this every single day that I blow dry my hair so yeah just wanted to throw that one in Oh my god, guys. <laughs> this is like my third time filming this second part of my video. I thought it was recording and it wasn't recording. So, um, let's just get to it. Let's just move on from hair products and get into the rest. <laughs> I can't believe it wasn't recording. <sighs> Alright, so next we're going to move on to skincare. And uh, I've got like five things that I want to talk about. So, let's see. The first one I want to talk about is... This La Roche Posay um, Anthelios AOX Aox um, Daily Antioxidant Serum with sunscreen. So I have been, you know, putting on my makeup, doing my um, skincare routine without adding sunscreen to it, which I know is bad, and I really wanted to correct that. And then I was talking about it with my cousin one day, and she recommended this one to me because it's help. It's good for you know oily skin, and it also has a high SPF. Um, and it also just helps really protect your skin and has a couple other things, um, vitamins in there that helps, you know, just keep your skin healthy. So it's this one. Um, it's really, really nice. And it feels really good on the skin. It doesn't feel greasy or thick or anything like that. Whenever I put it on, it just feels more like a watery type base. And um, it feels super light. Like, I don't feel like I'm wearing sunscreen on my face. Um which I really, really love. And I know some of these sunscreen primers or anything like that, whenever you, no, they do have flashback whenever you take photo or anything like that. This one does not, or it doesn't make my skin um, more oily or anything like that. So I really love it. It's nice and lightweight and um, it protects my skin, which is the main reason I got it. And 
I love how it feels on my skin as well. How many times can I say skin? The next one is the Origins High Potency Nitamins Skin Refining Oil. It looks like this. It has one fluid ounce and it just has, it's just packed with so many good vitamins for your skin. Um, and I use this during my, for my night routine. Um, I know, I don't remember exactly what it's for, like what vitamins are in it, but I know there's a whole bunch of vitamins and it's for oily skin, um, helps calm it down, smooth out, all that good stuff. Um, I'll link more about what exactly it does down below because I can't really remember what it was. I just know I like it and it smells super good and it, I have noticed a difference since I started using this. So the next one is a mask. It's the Saturn Sulfur Olkney Acne Treatment Mask from Sunday Riley. I love Sunday Riley products. My favorite one of all time is, they, uh, is the Sunday Riley UFO um, Serum Oil. UFO Serum. Let's just go with serum. Um, that has really changed my skin since I started using it. I used to break out so much. And um, when I started using that serum, it really helped calm my breakouts down. I don't really get breakouts that much anymore. And uh, it helped my skin be, you know, not so oily. So I love that product. I will also list that one down below. But this is the Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask, which I use whenever I am breaking out. This, I pop this on, leave it on for 20 minutes, and then the next day my acne has seriously reduced. It's not as inflamed, it's not as red anymore, or it's completely gone. So, love this mask, and I do use it to spot treat if I have just like a couple spots that I want to treat. I put this on those spots, and then I just leave it on overnight, because you can also do that and leave it on as an overnight mask um, for certain spots. I don't think you can do it all over the face, but for spot treating, you can definitely leave it on. All right, the next one is also a mask. This is the Coors Pomegranate AHAs and Enzymes Resurfacing Mask. Um, I love any kind of resurfacing mask. This one works really, really great and it smells good as well. Um, resurfacing mask just means that it's helping promote new cell turnover and getting rid of the dead skin cells on the surface. So I love that because I have texture from acne scarring, I have pigmentation from acne, um, and Taking off that layer of dead skin cells and promoting a new layer means that the scarring will go down and my skin will start to get smoother and the pigmentation will start to go away, which is why I love resurfacing masks and I definitely recommend this one. Last skincare product is the Ulla Henriksen Banana Bright Eye Cream. Um, I've tried a whole bunch of different eye creams before to help, you know, really brighten up my under eyes because I do have very dark under eyes. Um, I look like the you know, the Crypt Keeper whenever I'm not wearing makeup. So this has really been helping to lighten them up and also keep them moisturized at the same time. Um, and it feels really good on the skin. So I definitely recommend this one. I don't think I'll be moving from this one anytime soon to try out a new one just because I know this one works so well. All right, so let's move on to makeup and we're gonna start with the base primers. So I have two primers. The first one is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Oil Free Primer. And this is the best primer that I have ever used to keep my skin matte uh, for as long as possible, keep my makeup matte for as long as possible. Um, it feels super light on the skin. It feels more of like a watery type texture or versus a thick, more greasy type texture. It doesn't feel greasy at all. It feels really good on the skin. And it also has, uh, it also has SPF 15. So if you don't wear skin, um, so if you don't wear sunscreen on, um, your skin before makeup, uh, this has a little bit of protection added to it and it really just has helped keep my face so matte. I cannot say that enough because I'm in awe of how good this works. So the next one I have is from ColourPop is the All Star Matte Blur Primer. It looks like this and it's such a cute packaging. It's nice and pink and just like looks nice and clean. Um, this also helps smooth out, you know, my skin before uh, I put on any foundation. It helps keep my skin really nice and matte. For a good amount of time not as good as the hourglass because i could wear that one you know whenever i wear makeup with that as my primer it lasts all day i might look a little bit dewy towards the end of the day but i don't look like like i regularly would with any other kind of primer or if i didn't use primer at all um this one does do a really really good job though and that's why i want to mention it because it is a lot more affordable than the hourglass one which is like 60 dollars or something i don't know i got it during the sale but um, this one's really, really great, and I also recommend this one. All right, so foundation. I only have one because this is like my go-to that I wear now uh, for the past month. Um, it is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. My shade is Y245, and this 
foundation has just, you know, just wowed me this past month that I've been wearing it because it really helps keep my skin nice and matte. Um, there's a lot of other foundations that I really, really love, but they don't keep uh, the oiliness away for as long as um, this one does. And the coverage is really, really good and it really matches my skin, my natural skin color, better than a whole bunch of other ones that I've tried out. So definitely recommend this one. Right, so moving on, we're going on to concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Light Beige. I love this concealer, let me tell you. Um, this concealer is just so great. It's To me, it's better than the Tarte Shape Tape because it's not as drying whenever you apply it. Um, it's still very matte, very full coverage, but it doesn't look as dry as the Tarte Shape Tape would on, um, in my under eye area whenever I would apply it. This one just looks has a more like natural matte type of finish without looking oily or anything like that. So this one, definitely my fave, definitely my go-to. All right, moving on to eyeshadows. We are, I only have two eyeshadow palettes and one of them's limited edition. I'm sorry guys, but uh, I really just wanted to mention it. I don't really like mentioning limited edition uh, products because you can't get them anytime you want them, but this one is just really awesome and I think you can still grab some of these. So, but first I'm gonna mention the Magnify's Spice Edition Rimmel London Palette, which is a dupe for the Naked Heat Palette. And because I have this one, I'm not gonna buy the Naked Heat Palette. Let me just tell you, these shadows are so beautiful and so pigmented and blendable. I love it and the price point, you cannot beat that. Um, the only thing I have to say is that the shimmers are not the best, but I really wanted this palette because of all the warm tone colors and you can create so many different looks with this palette because it does have that good range of lighter, medium, and darker colors in it. Um, it's just a really good palette and then the, they blend. The next palette I'm gonna talk about is the limited edition. The Desi X Katie Collection Round 2 and it is the Francation palette. It looks like this. I just love all the colors that they chose for this palette. I mean, there's so many beautiful colors. Um, where you can create more natural type looks and then where you can be really badass and just go ham and create nice um, dramatic type looks with these beautiful different colored um, pops of color. So I think they um, chose out the colors very well and they are very creamy, very pigmented. I love them. My favorite one out of this whole palette though, and I would rebuy the palette just for this eyeshadow because I'm scared of running out of it, is the Just A Kiss eyeshadow, which is this color right here. Um, I love it as an eyeshadow topper because it just looks so beautiful on the eyelid. You can wear it by itself. It looks just so beautiful on the lid by itself or if you put it on top of another color, it really just helps make it pop. So this palette is amazing. That eyeshadow in particular is like my favorite thing. Alright, so next I have the Scattered Light um, Glitter Eyeshadows in Reflect and Foil and my favorite one out of both of these, even though these are both my favorites for October, is the Reflect color because it is more of like a champagne rose kind of color and it just looks so pretty on the lid by itself. The past month, if I don't feel like really, you know, doing anything dramatic or really doing anything with my lid, I put on a transition shade in my crease and then I put this color all over the lid and it's just a gorgeous color. Just a gorgeous like wash of color on your lids that looks super pretty and it looks more of like a wet look instead of like a super chunky glittery kind of look and i just can't say enough about these these are just amazing specifically reflect is my favorite so this next one is the foil shade which is a nice golder type of tone color looks like that if you can see um and i like using this whenever i want my lids to look a little bit more bronzy um, or if I'm using more of a gold type look, I'll pop this on just to make it pop a little bit more, you know, just get a little more extra. And it looks super nice on the skin. But again, you can use this by itself and just look fabulous. Like, it's just like, it looks like you are doing the most, but you're really doing least. So the next thing I want to talk about is the uh, two bra products that I got from Influencer. And the, these are the Lime Crime Bushy Brow Products. I have the Precision Pen and then the Brow Gel in Baby Brown. Yes, Baby Brown. Um, I have never tried a you know, marker type of brow product or pen type of product, but whenever I used this for the first time, it literally created the finest hair-like strokes that I was in shock because 
I have never seen anything like that or tried anything like that before and I use this to really just create all these hair like strokes in my brows to fill it out instead of just you know putting a whole bunch of color all over it and filling it in this looked amazing and it looked like my natural brow it did not look like I filled in my brows with any kind of brow product it looked just like my brow it was so natural looking I loved it and it really helped me create a more bushy type of feathered brow which I love that's the look I go for these days and then the brow gel I really really love because the spoolie is a lot longer than um, the one in the Benefit Cosmetics brow gel, which I hope gives you more control to really, you know, feather out your brows and get that nice kind of look. So I love this one. Both of these I love. So the next products I have are just like kind of nude colors, um, more natural type shades of lipsticks. Um, and I'm just a natural kind of person, you know, this, that's what I reach for on my day to day basis. So sorry, I will be doing, you know, more fall type of lips. But uh, for now, these are like my past October favorites. So we have the I'm Nude Lipstick from Jeffree Star. This is a super light um, pinky nude, but I pair it with a more of a natural type lip liner for my lips. And it just kind of darkens it up a little bit and makes it more of a nice nude for every day. And it's the best nude that I, I mean, this is my go-to. Like, I just love how it looks whenever I pair it with a, a lip liner like Spice or Nice and Spicy from MAC, any of those. It's just a really, really pretty um, nude shade. And then this one is another nude, but it's a different kind of nude. It's from Dose of Colors and is the Supernatural Liquid Lipstick. And it's more of a yellow toned nude lipstick, which I love for when I'm using more of a warm tone kind of color. And I don't want to use like a darker color or anything like that, but I don't want it to be too pinky. Um, on my lips, this one is perfect because it's more warm toned and it just completes a whole warm toned look. So when you don't want to use like a more pink type of nude, you have this one to really switch things up a little bit. All right, so now I have the ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Doozy. And it's just this really pretty sheer wash of color that you put on your lips that's like an everyday type of color. I will swatch it really quick. Like, it's, su ugh, it's super sheer, but it also gives just the most beautiful type of color for your lips. And um, looks very natural, very nice. I love this. It doesn't feel super drying on my lips either. So plus, plus, plus for ColourPop. This is a really good go-to for whenever you really don't feel like putting on, like, a full-on lipstick kind of color, but you still want a little bit something on your lips. And then this next one is NARS. It is the Dolce Vita lipstick, and it's also a more sheer type of lipstick, and it's really pretty. It's a lot, I think it's a little bit more sheer than the ColourPop Blotted Lip, which I like, because this one is even more of a natural kind of thing to put on your lips. If you can see it, it looks kind of like that on the bottom. Um, and it's really more of like a nice pink berry kind of color, which I think is really good for fall. So love this as a nice like berry red kind of color for my everyday. All right, so last but not least is this mascara from Lancome. It is the Monsieur Big Mascara from Lancome. This is a really great mascara. I have been loving this. It's the only one I've been using and it really helps keep my lashes looking nice and black and also really ups the volume and makes them look a little bit longer as well. So I really love this. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't flake or anything like that and it just really stays on all day. So I love this mascara, but that's the last one. That's it guys. So I hope you liked the um, favorites that I picked out for this one, all the things that I've been loving. I really love all of these products, so I definitely recommend them. Um, let me know you guys' favorites, what you're loving right now, what you're trying out right now. Um, that way I can try them out too. But yeah, everything I used or everything I mentioned will be listed down below. Remember to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click that notification bell for me. That way you are never late on catching up with any of these videos that I upload. And yeah, go ahead and follow me on Instagram too. I'll put it right here. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. So I will see you guys. Later.